our favorite seminars are the ones like these that are slow going and the reason that we like them so much is because we're moving into new territory and the reason that we're moving into new clarification is because you ask for it and the reason that you ask for it is because you've been living some of what our friend has been living in fact it came up a few times here today a sort of feeling that life should be moving faster for you and that you should be having more fun that you're having and that it should be easier to understand so we're going to recap are you ready for that you are the creator of your own reality but if you're like most humans you've been going about it in a rather physical conventional way where you're counting on action you're counting on effort you believe in sacrifice and trying hard and you believe in competition and you are aware of where you stand in relationships to others and in all of that you're doing just fine you have come out ahead in many ways and most people who look at you are thinking that you're doing all right and you've developed some attitudes of feeling proud of yourself and that's all good and with all of that said you are still dreaming far beyond your current ability to reach it and that is causing discord within you because you want more than you're letting in and we can talk all day about applying more action or about giving something more time we can talk all day about moving up the emotional scale about finding processes that make you feel better we talk a lot we do talk all day about reaching for the thought that feels the best because we know that the thought that feels the best is the thought with least resistance and the thought with least resistance is the thought that has most power but today you've moved by the power of your desire into something that we don't encourage very often we witness it from time to time and it's what you would call a sort of quantum leap and a quantum leap happens when there are enough people who are focused upon something that they desire even though it may feel nebulous as it has somewhat in this room today in an atmosphere of lots of non-physical focus so that there's enough shifting it's also called a paradigm shift when there's enough shifting in the energy to make a real difference in the way you stand so that your point of attraction is shifted enough that you will begin to see results that will make you believe we would like it if we could offer enough clarity of knowing and Esther could match up with enough words and we could reach out into the audience and find enough demonstrators of conversation that it would be really easy for you to make that shift just based upon what happened today in other words wouldn't it be nice if we could just know it so much and speak it so clearly that you could hear it and know it too and go off and perform the joyous life experience that you want to live but that's not how it works because words don't teach it's only life experience that teaches and so instead what we do is offer words and maybe enough of them that you find resonance with what you've already lived and then from the conversation that we have you take away with it a decision that you've never made before a decision that's a strong enough decision that the decision will stand even in the face of the other things that you're usually living a decision to reach for a thought any thought that feels good and to embrace it long enough that it blooms into something that is more we've been saying to you for a while that when you watch someone like Esther standing on a stage and speaking with clarity and certainty she certainly appears to believe what she's saying that often you might go away as members of an audience thinking well that's someone who certainly has a philosophy of life and that person certainly does believe it and I got some tips from it that maybe I can apply but as far as any real practical movement in your energy not a whole lot happens with a conversation it's in a room like this on a day like today but if one of the things that you heard was when you meditate you stop thought and when you stop thought you stop resistance and when resistance stops your vibration rises and when your vibration rises you find vibrational equivalency with your inner being if that thought captivated you enough that you decide that you're going to set some time aside every day to quiet your mind and you quiet your mind and you get to that sort of detached place and nothing earth-shattering happens during your meditation except that you got sort of numb and didn't try hard and didn't have any thoughts and then 
as you came out of meditation maybe something occurs to you that feels like something that you want to do it feels like the things that we were describing here it's an uplifting feeling it's not a world-changing feeling it's not necessarily a big big call to action you're not all of a sudden calling your friends and saying I've got the secret to life it's just an idea that felt fresh and light and it felt good to you and it felt good enough to you and because you've been meditating and you have no resistance in your absence of resistance you feel inspired to treat yourself to the journey of a good feeling thought so you give yourself permission to follow this thought out a little further rather than go back to work like you think you should or rather than go mow the lawn like somebody expects you to or rather than go do something that somebody else is expecting you to do instead you follow the impulse of this good feeling thought and in following the impulse of this good feeling thought it leads to something that for sure you knew was also another good feeling thought until you followed the thread you followed the trend you followed the stream of good feeling thoughts right into a manifestation of something that you've been wanting for a while and then from that experience you say I get it I now have the understanding of how this all works life caused me to do step one I ask contrast keeps me asking all over the place and when I ask I activate the end of the stick of what I don't want and I also activate the end of the stick of what I do want and the activation of the end of the stick of what I do want becomes my vibrational reality my vortex of creation and little by little through my step one in I have created a magnificent creation and now my inner being and all that is is standing right smack dab in the middle of my vibrational reality performing step two I ask they are giving because they know the path to everything they know where you stand in relationship to everything that you want they know what resistance you've sprinkled along the trail and they are not mad at you for sprinkling resistance along your trail they know where it is and they know how to guide you around it they know what thought to offer to you that will give you an impulse to go over there and then what thought to offer to you to give you an impulse to go over there so step one is done and so is step two step three is you meditated yourself into step three you quieted your mind and you stopped resistance step three is getting into the receiving mode and all that get into the receiving mode means is releasing resistance because when you hold the cork under the water that's resistance when you let go it bobs up to the vibrational equivalency of who you really are so step three is what we've been talking about you find alignment with your source energy you find through quieting your mind the vibrational equivalency of what your inner being knows step one step two step three now you've tasted it you like it you say out loud to yourself and others I really like this clear thought I have I prefer clarity to confusion I really like it I love being in love I love loving you say I love loving and because I love loving I reach for thoughts that are loving and so through the process of meditation hint hint and by looking for positive aspects and by reaching for the best feeling thoughts that you can find you practice the vibration of alignment you practice this end of the stick and it becomes easier and easier and easier for you until we pronounce you step four step four is just really good at step three that's all step four is you're really 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 good at being in the state of receiving and then step five is life comes to you like our friend said he's on his way home from a time of alignment he gets bad news and it doesn't feel bad because it's in perspective it's because in the step one moment that someone else is living he's already over here on the other end of the stick with his inner being and their inner being the problem has already created the solution and you're already in alignment with the solution Are you sort of getting the hang of how this works so if we were standing in your physical shoes and we were leaving this gathering and we were coming into conversation with people who haven't been here with you or wanting to know where you've been and 
what it was like would say it's hard to explain a lot of it I really didn't understand a whole lot of it I could have done without but I've decided I'm gonna be nicer to myself and I've decided I'm gonna have more fun and I've decided I'm gonna think happier thoughts and I'm gonna decide that I'm gonna look around for things that are surefire subjects for me to feel good about and I'm gonna concentrate as close to hundred percent on those things as I can and your friend who wasn't here is gonna to say to you isn't that unrealistic <laughs> and you would say yes but I've decided to leave reality and realism somewhere else because it's been tripping me up I've decided to be right now today and tomorrow as long as I can keep it going the one who dreams for the sake of feeling good rather than the realist who is facing reality for the sake of explanation or for the sake of attention or for the sake of justification that's what I got from it and they're gonna say it doesn't sound like you got much <laughs> seems like the side of a small idea or maybe even an obvious idea and then you might say I thought that too at first but the presenter of the seminar seemed so determined <laughs> to make the point that there's power in that that I've decided to give it a go I've decided that I'm gonna accept that life so far has caused me to ask for a lot and I've decided to begin right now letting more of it in and your friend if you've kept their interest by now they've probably gone home and texted somebody about what's wrong with you <laughs> but if they're still hanging in with you the next thing that you could say to them the next thing that they might solicit from you is so what does this mean how's it gonna play out what advantage of it is to you and you can say with this many words as you feel like saying I'm not sure that it will lead to anything but I believe that I will feel good in the moment and for me right now that's enough I've decided to stop trying and efforting to make something happen I've decided to accept my worthiness and my blessedness I've decided to accept that I stand in a place where good things are flowing to me and I've decided that as hard as I've been trying I haven't been letting enough of them in and so I've decided to take a different approach I've decided to just take maybe the easy way I've decided to stop fussing about it and worrying about it and trying so hard and I've decided to just give it all the fun and ease and laughter and lightheartedness that I can muster that's my plan that's what I took away from the gathering and they'll say to you are you ever gonna go back to one of those meetings and here's what we want you to say to them I never have to go to another meeting because I've got it there is great love here for you and for now, we are complete.